iOS 15 is finally official to the public. You can now go ahead and download it. But of course you may be wondering what are the features I should be testing? Well, I've been using the beta since June and so let's delve into the features I've been using non-stop. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just suck in. Right, so the first feature I wanna delve into is live text. This allows you to copy and paste text in the camera viewfinder or an image. So I'll give you guys a situation where this could be useful. So for example, you're a student, the teacher is writing up notes on the whiteboard, but you can't be asked to make notes on that. Well, of course you can just get your iPhone out, point the camera at the whiteboard, and boom, there should be an icon in the top right. Tap on that and you can start copy and pasting the text on the whiteboard and bring that over to a Word document that you can transfer over to your iPad or Mac. That's a pretty killer feature in my opinion, but do remember that this is only available on devices with an A12 and above, so basically anything below the XS won't get this feature unfortunately. In fact, there are a ton of features those devices are missing, so here's a list of them right now on your screen. So the second feature I love is Spatialized Stereo. So I recently got a pair of AirPods Pro, but of course, since I don't subscribe to Apple Music, I cannot take advantage of the spatial audio tech that's exclusive to Apple Music. Well, now that's not the case because with Spatialized Stereo, this effect is recreated and this can pretty much be used for any media. So YouTube, Netflix, Spotify, pretty much all of those can be experienced with the amazing spatial audio tech. Now, of course, since I don't subscribe to Apple Music, I can't tell you guys whether Spatialized Stereo is as good as spatial audio on Apple Music, but I can tell you guys, it is a massive upgrade over the regular stereo sound we have on AirPods Pro. Anyways, let's now move on to the Safari changes. I know this was a pretty controversial change at the beginning, but Apple's been fine tuning the changes, and I think they've met a happy medium now with the final release. Now the best part about the redesign in my opinion is having the search bar at the bottom. Now this is very, very useful on bigger iPhones. I've always struggled reaching the search bar at the top and so I do prefer having it in a more reachable position. Though do remember that if you do not like these changes, you can revert back to the classic Safari modes if you want. Though guys, another element I like about the redesign is the gestures built in. So now you can swipe to the right to create a new tab and it's now way easier to swipe through the different tabs you might have open on your phone. Anyways, moving on to the next feature and this is focus modes. So this basically allows you to have different modes and different home screens for different times of the day. So for example, you can have a work mode that has a more work focused home screen. And then of course you can turn that off and go back to your regular home screen when you're done with work. And also if people are disturbing you when you're working, you can now have a status on iMessage that tells them that, hey, I am working, do not text me, stop it, I wanna work. Anyways, the final feature I want to delve into is notification summary. So I hate getting bombarded with hundreds and hundreds of notifications when I wake up and so that's where notification summaries come in because much like the name says, this gives you a summary or breakdown of the main notifications you need to access and this can be configured for any time of the day you want. I usually do it in the morning so when I wake up, I get a breakdown of the main things I need to know and then of course I get along with my day. Anyways, those are my favorite features, but tell me which features you guys like in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above on details regarding the iPad Air 5. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.